we need a full range of possibilities of exchange. You have the commercial one, extreme young, fine, well established, well operational. At the other end of the spectrum, which is the only one tolerated now, is the pure gift. Okay, the gift exchange. The gift exchange is the pure yin. I fully support it. It's actually the perfection of the yin. However, we need tools in between. I don't think we've reached the consciousness level yet where the needs for everybody will be taken care of on a gift basis. I think that's a possibility, actually, in Star Trek Enterprises, uh, the movie. Uh, you have Dr. Spock saying, in 2400, we don't have money. We don't have any money. We don't need any money in 2400. Why? Because everybody does what they're passionate about and everything gets done. And they do these things, they're motivated by expanding their own capacities and the capacities of their community. I think that's true in 2400. How do we get from here to there? Well, I think we need a few tools to re-educate our habits. And we've gone a little too far looking just at the commercial solutions to solve everything and hoping that the rest is taken care of. I think what I'm talking about is providing the tools in between. All the way from a weaker young, like the Terra, long-term thinking is not a young, spontaneous process. Or a little less pure yin than the pure gift, the Furia Kipu. The simple fact that one accounts for something gives it value. That's what has been discovered with time dollar systems. The very simple fact that people are aware that someone counts the hours that you're actually contributing gives it value. So let's honor that. That's one of the intermediary tools because measuring itself is a touch of young, the pure gift, no price, no quantity, limits. Mother taking care of her children doesn't say, well, I'm going to give three hours today, or sorry, overtime. <laughs> okay, or it's going to five dollars for breakfast this morning. Uh, Mom's special. It's not how it works. That's the pure gift. We can't do that for everybody yet. And I hope we will someday. But I'm actually focusing in the next 20 years. We have an armful of, of issues to deal with. And I think the pure gift is not reachable on a planetary level for 7 billion people today. I also claim that the pure commercial stuff is not good to solve the problems for 7 billion people today. So the tools in between. That's what I'm focusing on and it's what I suggest that you look at. Which ones of these in that wide range fits your own values, your own priorities, your own gifts. Manifest them there. The terrain is open. The time is now.